Good morning. My name is Captain Crystal Thaxter, and it is my honor to welcome you to the 2024 Tennessee Highway Patrol Memorial Service. Established by a joint resolution of Congress in 1962, National Police Week pays special recognition to those law enforcement officers who have paid the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives in the line of duty for the safety and protection of others. While time has moved on, we still feel the pain from losing our friends and loved ones. Let us all be comforted in the knowledge that our loved ones rest and in a place of honor. Their service and dedication are not in vain. And while our sympathies go out to all the law enforcement agencies across the nations as they gather to honor their loved ones lost in the line of duty, today it is here that we express honor to the memories of the lives that touched us and continue to remain alive in our hearts for no one is dead until they are forgotten. On this day, the Tennessee Highway Patrol will pay tribute and honor 46 of our family members who gave their lives in service for the citizens of Tennessee and the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Please rise at this time for the invocation by Chaplain Danny Ricker and remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the Tennessee Highway Patrol Honor Guard and the singing of our national anthem by Trooper Jalita Faison. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for who you are and what you are. You are the author and finisher of our faith. You are our creator and we give you praise. Lord, we ask that you be with us today as we remember our Tennessee Highway Patrol State Troopers and all law enforcement officers across the nation that have made the ultimate sacrifice, their lives, to protect their communities. We honor them, and Lord, we honor their families that have made a sacrifice to give up their loved ones that they miss every single day. Lord, please wrap your arms around them today and comfort them. God, we pray for Grant Goldie, and other troopers across the state of Tennessee that needs a healing touch from you today, Lord. And oh God, we know that it is your calling and your gifts that our troopers, officers, and law enforcement answer every day as they pin on the badge and run to the things that we run from. So Lord, we ask that you protect them, keep them safe, protect their families as they're answering your call. And we thank you, Almighty God, for all law enforcement. Thank you for our Tennessee Highway Patrol for protecting our great state of Tennessee. For you, O oh Lord, you are the life giver, and you are the giver of good gifts. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the
Please be seated. Now it is my honor to introduce to you the commander of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, Colonel Matt Perry. Thank you, Captain Thaxter. Good morning and welcome to the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security 2024 <coughs> Memorial Service. Thank you for being here today as we pay tribute to those who gave everything in service to the citizens of our great state. This week is a solemn period of remembrance for law enforcement and it is crucial that we set aside this time to honor the Tennessee Highway Patrolmen who have made the ultimate sacrifice as well as recognize the sacrifices made by their families. Today we dedicate this year's Tennessee Highway Patrol Memorial Service to Lieutenant Tim Ryan. We remember him not only as a committed trooper, but as a beloved member of our communi community who dedicated his life to the Tennessee Highway Patrol and paid the ultimate sacrifice. Tim's family will always remain part of the THP family as we honor his distinguished service today. Now today goes by when those who've died are not loved and missed. They will forever hold a place in our hearts as we continue to honor their spirit, service, and sacrifice with our words and actions. To protect and serve is not just a motto, it's a calling. Our fallen heroes have demonstrated that their pride in being called to serve was greater than any fear they faced. Their spirit of service will live on. I'd like to take a moment and recognize the family members here with us today, your presence, is a reminder of the personal sacrifices you and your families have made. We deeply appreciate your attendance and your ongoing support of the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Please know that we are committed to ensuring that the legacies of your loved ones endure. Thank you again for joining us as we affirm our commitment to remembering and honoring our fallen heroes. Their legacies live on through our continuous dedication to serve and protect. Now please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker, Commissioner Jeff Long. Thank you, Colonel. Good morning, everyone. And we'd like to thank all of you for being here as we honor our fallen troopers. I was gonna to try to announce some dignitaries that are here. There are too many. I'm afraid I'll leave somebody out. I know we have members of the legislature. We have Brandon Gibson, uh, our chief operating officer. We have commissioners here. We have former Commissioner's Department of Safety, U.S. Attorneys are here, uh, some of the District Attorneys are here. Uh, I do know the Sheriff's Association, Chief's Association. I'm going to apologize. I know I'm going to leave somebody out, so I don't want to go in too deep in trying to name people. Uh, afraid I'll leave somebody, but we are honored that you came to be with us during this memorial service. Today we honor the memory of all law enforcement officers who have fallen in Tennessee, especially 46 troopers who have made that ultimate sacrifice. To the family, to the friends and co-workers in attendance, on behalf of Governor Bill Lee and the citizens of Tennessee, we extend our deepest sympathy as you navigate the time of sorrow, heartbreak, and a loss. You know, this time of year is always bittersweet. Our hope is that this ceremony serves as a sweet thread in the bitter fabric as we honor and remember those lost in the line of duty. Your act of courage and willingness to be here today ensures that your loved one's memory and legacy lives on. It adds to the honor and importance of what this ceremony is all about. While they are not here physically, they live forever in our hearts and mind. Grief, as we know, is difficult, and it's different for everyone. Please know, family members, we love you. We support you, and you are not alone. We will continue to support you, as the Colonel said, and walk with you as long as you need us to be there. The law enforcement officers who protect our great state and the families who stand by their side deserve our deepest respect. We want to recognize the dedication and commitment of these officers and also pray for their families. They answer the call of duty and put their lives on the line to protect the people they serve. That is the calling of a law enforcement officer. But the toughest of all is the family 
who watches their loved one leave the house every day not knowing whether or not they will return. Since our administration began, we've lost four state troopers. Matthew Guiding, Vince Mullins, Lee Russell, and Tim Ryan, to whom, as the Colonel says, we dedicate the 2024 Tennessee Highway Patrol uh, Memorial Service. To our families of our state troopers, again, that we've lost, we honor this day. We're here to remember your loved one. We're certainly glad you're here with us today, and I wish there was a way that we could heal the hurt in your heart. The best way we can help is to say the Tennessee Highway Patrol family, as I said, loves you and thanks you, and we will never forget the sacrifice of your loved one. On behalf of all Tennesseans, let me say thank you to all of those who are currently in law enforcement today for the risk you take every day to protect all of us. Because of your sacrifice, we are a state of order, not chaos. And we make a pledge that your courage and your sacrifice also will never be forgotten. Danger, as we know, is a part of this job. We all knew this before we volunteered to serve. By the very nature of calling, law enforcement officers willing and without hesitation put their lives on the line for their fellow citizens. Bravery and vigilance are constant traits of those who wear the badge. It's the courage that is so constant and commonplace that many take for granted. That is something we shall never do. Every day, those who have taken an oath of law uh, as a law enforcement officer demonstrates that by being willing to lay their lives on the line and to put the safety of others before their own safety and for individuals they have never met. Thank you to our, our law enforcement officers across the state for what you do every day. To all the current state troopers, I want you to remember you make a difference. You save lives every day. You put your own life on the line for others. Always be safe and take care of yourself for without you, society could not function. May God bless and protect not only our country and state, our cities and our counties, but also bless and protect all of those who wear the badge across our great state. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will Trooper Charles Hash, end of watch, April 11th, 1930. Trooper Walter Jones, end of watch, July 31st, 1930. Trooper Lee Loveless, end of watch, February 3rd, 1934. Trooper Clovis Cole, end of watch, May 2nd, 1934. Trooper Ed Kennedy, end of watch, August 22nd, 1934. Trooper Lindsey Smith, end of watch, December 17th, 1934. Trooper Earl Hicks, end of watch, June 17, 1936. Trooper Paul Summers, end of watch, August 8, 1936. Trooper Carl Hickman, end of watch, September 15, 1937. Trooper Lewis R. Boone, end of watch, October 18, 1938. Trooper Charles Gearheiser, end of watch, November 12, 1938. Trooper William H. James, end of watch, September 14, 1942. Trooper James Williams, end of watch, January 1st, 1943. Trooper William H. Crutcher, end of watch, August 3rd, 1944. Trooper Fred C. Waldrop, end of watch, April 1st, 1950. Sergeant Oliver D. Williamson, end of watch, April 6th, 1950. 
52. Trooper Oscar Morris, end of watch, May 9th, 1956. Trooper Lewis Raymond Hendon, end of watch, June 3rd, 1957. Trooper Edward C. Jowers, end of watch, August 3rd, 1962. Trooper Kenneth R. Moore, end of watch, February 2nd, 1964. Trooper Joseph E. Dillard, end of watch, September 15, 1964. Trooper William G. Barnes, end of watch, January 22, 1966. Trooper Michael T. Daffner, end of watch, April 6, 1966. Lieutenant Samuel W. Gibbs, end of watch, August 27, 1966. Trooper Eugene Brakel, end of watch, October 9th, 1966. Trooper Roy A. Minot, end of watch, February 11th, 1968. Trooper C.B. Martin, end of watch, May 4th, 1969. Trooper Samuel F. Holcomb, Jr., end of watch, March 27th, 1988. Officer Michael L. Rector, end of watch, May 31st, 1990. Trooper Douglas W. Tripp, end of watch, May 19th, 1991. Trooper George V. Holcomb, end of watch, January 26, 1992. Sergeant James D. Perry, end of watch, October 3rd, 1999. Trooper Bobby J. Maples, end of watch, November 5th, 1999. Trooper Lynn M. Ross, end of watch, July 26, 2000. Trooper John G. Mann, end of watch, January 1st, 2001. Trooper John R. Davis, end of watch, March 17, 2001. Trooper Todd M. Larkins, end of watch, July 8, 2005. Trooper Calvin W. Jinks, end of watch, January 6, 2007. Trooper Andrew T. Wall, end of watch, May 7, 2011. Trooper Ronnie Hale, end of watch, July 6, 2012. Trooper Michael Slagle, end of watch, January 25th, 2013. Trooper Lewis Hendricks, end of watch, August 19th, 2017. Trooper Matthew Gotti, end of watch, May 6, 2019. Trooper Vince Mullins, end of watch, January 28th, 2022. Lieutenant Timothy Ryan, end of watch, May 6, 2022. Sergeant Harold Lee Russell II, 
end of watch, August 23rd, 2022. Please remain standing for the benediction from Chaplain Jim Ennis. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty God, we bow humbly today for this opportunity to remember. We pray for peace, we pray for comfort, we pray for guidance. Remind us that each and every day that you give us, it's a gift that shouldn't be taken lightly. As we leave this place, guide us, direct us, that we will be found in your will and in your service. Thank you for all that you've done and the countless blessings that you have in store for us. And we ask these favors in the name of Jesus Christ. And amen.
to our honored families here today. On behalf of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, we thank you for coming and sharing this time of remembrance with us. This will conclude our service.